This is a case about a dog bite. So let's decide it and get it on. All right, Ms. Favreau, Maria Favreau, who's the lady uh, standing with you, ma'am? My yeah. daughter. All right, please tell me uh, your side of this case. Well, I was coming out of the house to meet my daughter in the car. And all of a sudden, I hear this clack, clack of, of hockey sticks. They flew out in the street, and when they flew out in the street, the dog came and bit my leg. How, how big is the dog? How big was the dog, you remember? Oh, yeah, it's pretty big. What, what kind of dog was it? What kind of dog you have? Uh, Tucker uh, Spaniel. How big is it? About medium size. Well, well, he's up to here. Okay. okay. Dog ever bitten anybody before? No. no. He's, he's a very protective dog. Protective dog? Did he ever bite anybody before? No. This is the first time. You sure of that? Yes. Did you see the dog when the dog bit the woman? Yes. When you saw the dog going to the woman, what did you do with the leash? I was trying to pull him back. It's a little dog. Yes. And you couldn't pull this little dog back? He could pull, pretty much. Look, you know, I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> okay? I want you to tell me the truth. The dog is running toward the woman. What do you do? Well, I didn't know that he was running toward the woman until after he bit her, because then she screamed. Well, you say the dog bit you? Yes. And uh, how bad was the bite? Well, it was bleeding. Do you have, do you have some, uh, some you, Yes, I have. You could see it. Can I see it? The trousers, please, ma'am? Of course, that's... Went right through her, um... Went right her through her. Show me. Show me here, please. Yeah, here it is. There's, oh. there's two dog bites. Two oh. holes. Okay. See, here's one. Okay. And see. here's the other one. Okay. I can see him. Okay. You don't have any question the dog did bit this lady, correct, sir? The dog did bite the lady. Yes. Thank you very much. You can see my leg? Well, I sure am missing the leg. <laughs> you want to show it to me? That's all right with no, me. That's okay. All right, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> did you kick at the dog or anything to make the dog go angry? Or... No, no. What did you I'm do? I'm petrified of dogs to begin with. When he came over and grabbed my leg, I screamed. What did you do before that, when he was coming at you, coming towards you? Well, he came so fast, I didn't do nothing. I just stood so still. And that's when he bit me. Froze. I froze. Ma'am, I'm sorry, I didn't identify you. What's your name, please? I'm his mother, Rochelle. His mom, all right. Uh, let me just ask you this. Do you believe, because your it, it, the dog belongs to your son, correct? Mm -hmm. That the moral and fair thing to do, regardless of what the legal standard is, the right thing to do mm -hmm. would be, say, our dog bit you, tore up your uh, uh, pants so they're not used anymore. Mm -hmm. we, should re we should reimburse you for those and we should pay you medical bills. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I agreed. Well, why don't you? I never said I wouldn't. I never received the other bill. How well, am I going to pay for something when I didn't know how much it cost? It's rare that you see neighbors come together and eventually, after some discussions, this lady is saying, yes, you know, I'm responsible. And neighbors, having good neighbors, or having neighbors which will stand up and be counted is pretty doggone important. And I say, I, I know you were the one that was bit, because you're the one that had your trousers or your pants uh, snagged, and you had to watch that happen to your mom. But I think this lady is a, stands pretty tall to come in and say, yeah, that's our responsibility. Judgment for the plaintiff. Sum of $500. Good luck to you. So the judge rules in favor of the plaintiff. Mrs. Favro gets the $500 for clothing costs and medical bills. When we come back, we'll take a look at what's coming up on the next Judge Mills Lane. It's a battle over a big screen TV. He said, yes, you can have the TV. It looks like someone has their wires crossed. Did you make the statement to this person, you can have the TV? I have to answer yes or no. Yeah. What but the hell kind of answer is that? Next, Judge Mills Lane.